I'm Ike Jones, a 22-year-old university student. I'll introduce you to the trouble I went through. When I was a junior at university, I went to a party with my friends. There was a woman who just stood out from everyone. Her name was Rachel. She was the same age as me, but was way above my league. She was so pretty and looked like a model. I fell in love with her the moment I saw her. I asked her out, thinking that there was a good chance she would just laugh at me. But, will you go out with me? Sure. I couldn't believe she would say yes, but she did. So we started to see each other. She wasn't my first girlfriend, but I never loved anyone like that before. Soon after we started dating, I learned that she was considerate and caring towards others. She was beautiful on the inside and out. I was head over heels. I was serious about her, so I introduced her to my parents. When I told her about meeting my parents, she happily agreed to come with me to my hometown. My parents loved her too. So she came home with me whenever I went back to see my parents. I knew she was the one. So, when I secured a job in my final year at the university, I popped the question. Will you marry me after I graduate from university? Yes, I will. I was over the moon. We made plans to see my parents, to tell them about the happy news. Then I remembered that I needed to introduce Rachel to my sister. So, I spoke to my sister, who was eight years older than me. Long time no speak, sis. Uh, could I talk to you for a sec? Long time no speak. Sure. What is it? I don't have money. I never asked you that. Just kidding. What's up? Can you come and see mom and dad next Saturday? Bit of a short notice, but I think I can. Do I have to? It's important. You can tell me now. I can't now. Just go to mom and dad's. What's so important? You're starting to worry me. It's nothing to worry about. It's about my girlfriend. You have a girlfriend? Sure I do. I told you that long ago. Yeah, come to think of it, you did tell me. Sorry, it slipped my mind. Well, she comes to see our parents on holiday a lot. That's why I tell you to go home sometimes. You know how it is with my work. I know. So, what about that girlfriend of yours? She finally saw sense and dumped you? So you want us to comfort you? No thanks. What are you talking about? I'm gonna marry her! Marry her? You're still a student. Not right this minute, but after graduating and when things are settled with my job. Anyway, you need to meet her, so come home. It won't take long. If that's the case, I really do need to go home. And on Saturday, we all gathered at my parents' home. Rachel and my sister Molly will meet each other for the first time. When we opened the door, Molly greeted us straight away. It's very nice to finally meet you. I'm Rachel. It's nice to finally meet you too. I heard a lot about. Her greeting stopped in the middle of a sentence. Molly looked surprised when she saw Rachel's face properly. Then her facial expression changed dramatically to something that looks like anger. After that moment, she kept quiet. Both my parents congratulated us. But it was clear that my sister was not happy about this at all. She didn't express her feelings through her words, but her attitude told me so. Later, Rachel said to me, looking worried. Have I done something wrong to upset your sister? What should I do? I was furious that Molly made her worry about things like this. So I spoke to her. What was that about yesterday? About what? You know what I mean. Why did you act like that? She came all the way to see my family. Sorry. I'm not the one you should apologize for. It's Rachel, I need to say sorry. I'll arrange a meeting so you can properly apologize. I'm sorry, but I don't want to meet her again. Why are you so against Rachel? You barely exchanged words. It's not right. It's just... I don't care what you think of her. I'll marry her regardless. But I don't want her to get upset. You love her, don't you? Of course I do! Why would I ask her to marry me? I see. 
I wasn't gonna tell you this, but I have no choice. What are you talking about? I want you to meet someone. A few days later, I went to a cafe my sister told me to go to. Molly was already there waiting for me. But there was also a man sitting right next to her. He was a clean-shaven, neat-looking man around 40. I didn't know what she wanted to do, but I took my seat. This is Mr. Smith. He's the victim of the case I'm investigating. My sister is a cop. If I remember correctly, she was in a division that investigates fraud and stuff. She doesn't talk about her work much. So, I told Rachel that my sister works for the government. After being introduced by my sister, Mr. Smith opened his mouth. Please listen to what I'm going to say with an open mind. It might help you. Indeed, what he told me was so very important. So, you spoke to your sister? How did it go? I would like to meet her and clear the air if possible. Yeah, don't worry about that. How can I not? I want all of your family to celebrate our wedding. Let's just not worry about my sister for the time being. I have something more important to talk to you about. What is it? Let's just forget about our engagement. Huh? Is this some kind of joke? It's not even funny. Let's just forget about our engagement. It's because your sister doesn't like me? That's not it. Then how come? I don't understand. I'm sorry, but I made up my mind. Can we meet and talk about this? We can't do this over text messages. You're right. Okay, can you come to the restaurant we went to before? They have private rooms there. Okay. So we met in a private room at the restaurant. Of course, the atmosphere between us was very heavy. I opened my mouth. About our engagement. Wait a second. She stopped me from talking. There's this company one of my relatives owns. And I heard the great news. They wouldn't normally do this to anyone. But since you're my fiance, they made an exception. Out of the blue, she put her hands in her bag and got out a lot of documents. There's a great opportunity to invest in shares of rapidly growing companies in developing countries. They only disclose this information exclusively to certain people. But if you invest in this, you can 100% make a fortune. They only accept investments from $50,000, but it will become 10 times more in a year. As I was looking at her talk so fast with such strange desperation, she looked like a different person. She really is. What Mr. Smith told me about was exactly this. He too was told a similar story by her. To my surprise, he also dated Rachel and was engaged to her at the same time she was dating me. I couldn't believe it at first, but the woman in the picture he showed me was definitely Rachel. About six months ago, he signed a contract for the same investment scheme. He invested $100,000. However, a few days after he invested the money... I'm sorry. I fell in love with someone else. She broke up with him just like that and went missing, Molly said to me. Can you believe how surprised I was when you introduced her as your fiancé? But I couldn't do anything legally as there was no proof. We can't prove that she's part of this investment company. If she claims that she was also deceived, that's it. However, according to my sister's investigation, it's highly likely that this scheme is run by a much bigger organization. The company itself is just a ghost company, but they use attractive young women. After they become engaged to their victims, they make them agree to invest in the scheme. She suspects there are a lot of women like Rachel working for the group. I could see why I was targeted, because my parents are wealthy, and after graduating from university, I was due to get some money from them. I asked Rachel to come to this restaurant as instructed by my sister. You said the company is owned by one of your relatives, right? Is that true? Of course! I work there a bit as a part-timer. It's an amazing company. She didn't realize she just dug her own grave. Probably she was flustered because I broke off the engagement. All of a sudden, the door of our room was pushed open. Then you must know more what kind of business they're running. Let's talk more at the station. My sister came in. 
She was listening to the conversation over the mic I was wearing. You admitted that you work for a company that's accused of running fake investment schemes. The money they stole amounts to more than a million. So let's talk more about that relative of yours. If you wish, we can get an arrest warrant. The choice is yours. Molly had such authority as a cop. Even I was in awe. Um, this is not... I mean... Rachel was so stunned she was lost for words. Molly took her to the police station. The members of the organization which ran the fake investment scheme were all arrested. Of course, Rachel was charged and tried. I unexpectedly had a broken engagement and a broken heart. I will never, ever trust women. Don't be like that. It's very rare to go through something like this. I go out drinking with my sister a lot. Drinks are on her, of course. 